morning, Stefan. Stefan. Hello, Stefan. How are you? Uh, very well, thank you. Welcome. Good, thanks. Good, thanks. Uh, thanks for having us here. It's a nice, nice, fresh morning. Just an hour outside of Pretoria. Wonderful. We had rain, so we we delighted. Yeah, the road, is, the road is pretty wet, and the and the and the pools are are nice and deep next to the road. It's been a very dry year. Um, well, it's the last three, four years has been... And very hot. Yeah. Very yeah. hot. So, but that's uh, cooled down now. I think you're going to have a great day in the field today. Yeah. We're very uh, thankful uh, for the rain. Um, that's that's half part of why we're here. You know, um, there's a lot of guys taking off some, some excess animal this time of the year. It's it's, it's very hot. It's it's uh, well past the normal, old, traditional hunting season that, that, that we've experienced in the old days. But, you know, now with the new... With the new fenced in areas and the and, and the laws, you know, we can hunt throughout the year. So um thanks for having us here. I've I've brought along the 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 Raven crossbow. We've been using it for the for the last couple of months and uh, a pretty lethal pretty lethal hunting weapon. So um yeah, I've brought that along uh, before we start hunting with a rifle again. But um you know, just just please explain to us and to our viewers, uh watching the Africa Sportsman show, you know, how, how it works out here, uh, what what's available to take and how we're gonna approach the day. Stefan in Toba, your man is um, an hour's drive out of Pretoria, Tor Road, just the other side, uh, Bella Bella. And uh, John takes care of the hunters, uh, so we fully fledged the hunting outfit, PH, packages, more or less anything that you can think of. And uh, mm, very exotics we also source from neighboring farms. So we, we require quite a uh, useful unit. Whatever you desire to hunt, whether it be bow or rifle, it can be hunted either on this farm or just next door. Uh, what we what we have in abundance, nyala, beautiful nyala. We uh, also breed sable, uh, of which we've hunted a number of uh, bulls, nice bulls, uh, lovely kudu. Kudu, any, any sort of kudu, whether it's a trophy or a youngish male or a cow even, um, yeah. And um, as for the rest, uh, some zebra, waterbuck, uh, blessed buck, impala, um, pretty much everything for everybody. Well, guys, we're gonna we're gonna get the bow. Just uh, double check it. It has been sighted in. We have, we've have been have been uh, using it for for some time now. But uh, very impressive. It, very it's, impressive. It's always nice just just to have a shot or two at the at the range. So we're gonna set up the butt at about 50 meters. It's it's nice and dense here with you guys. Fantastic. Would you say 50 will be more or less the the range? The range. Can Maybe uh, even less if we're lucky. Even less. All right. Well, let's do it. Okay. Thank you, Stefan. Okay, so we have a, um, we're gonna have a, a walk and stalk from here. We're gonna look for either a kudu, waterbuck, nyala. Um, there's some good willabias here as well, golden willabia. So um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're just checking the wind. With the rain, it's difficult with the dust. So just lit the cigarette and, and, and check the general wind direction. Gotta head into the wind, and uh, hopefully we find something nice to to take. Like even.
nice and swell. We will be able to follow the tracks for a while, so we're gonna we're gonna go after those bulls. So we um, we came upon this big bull um, uh, in this open patch, and uh, it was about 91, 92 meters when we ranged him. And um, as I was picking up the the binos, he spotted us. So uh, he was standing facing us. Um, it was a difficult shot. We struggled this whole morning, so I decided to take it. And um, uh, I'm not sure if I hit the vitals. Uh, he spun away with his with his hind leg dragging, so I might have pulled the shot to the left. I was very steady. I might have canted the bow a bit uh, or the crossbow, but so we're gonna wait a couple of minutes. Um, it was definitely it. So uh, we marked the spot where he is. We're gonna give it about 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll go look for a for a blood trail and and follow up from there. There's another I don't know four hours of daylight left. Uh, not the ideal situation. The shot the shot was a bit far. Um, comfortable with the setup, uh, we've taken shots like this with with uh, with good results in the past. But um, yeah, don't know if I cantered it. It's definitely not the wind. The wind is blowing from the left to right, so um, not sure what happened. There's definitely no branches in the way, so uh, maybe just a poor shot. But yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. So we're going to give it a little bit, and we're going to look for a blood trail. So this is it. So this is it. We stopped and turned, and then. He spun off in this direction. Here's the track here. So he went off in this direction over here. Uh, you got some blood. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely not confident about the heat. Here's some, here's some more blood here as well. 
Uh, some nice red blood. I mean, it's a, it's nice and fresh. So, um, yeah, we have it. We have it. We have it. Uh, a track going this way with some blood. Let's just look for the arrow because um, normally, normally it passes within about you know it passes through and within about 10 meters we find it. So that's the direction he went with the blood trail. That's the direction the shot came from. Yeah, here we go. Uh, there's some meat, some meat stuck in here, and um, you can see there's some there's some blood on the on the arrow. It's difficult to tell. Looks like a bit of bubbles, but I'm yes, I'm 80% sure I, I, uh, I pulled the shot a little bit to the left. So you got the arrow. It, it opened up. I mean, all three blades are are open. We got a good blood trail, so we're gonna we're gonna wait about 15, 20 minutes. Um, his hind leg was definitely dragging, so whether it passed through the chest and then through the through the hind leg, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, if the shot was off a bit to the left, uh, we could be up for a for a for, <laughs> for an inter interesting afternoon. But we've got a good uh, uh, set of tracks in the, in the soft soil from the heavy rain last night, and we got definitely got a blood trail. So uh, we're going to give it a couple of minutes, and then we'll go after. Johnny. How's it Stefan? How did it go? Yes, I'm st still not sure. Eh? Yeah. Um, so this is the spot where we hit him. Here's the first blood is exactly where he stood. Yeah. He stood right next to this bush facing us at 92. And the first blood is even before we went off here, you know. So uh -huh. um, uh, the only thing I know is that when he took off, yeah. his hind right leg was dragging. So I yeah. definitely hit that. Okay, so he stood over there into yep. that bushes and then um, we, we watched him for a while there and then he disappeared to the left. So, to the left, okay. Yeah. This is the last where we saw him. And then he went off, uh, he joined up with two younger bulls and uh, he went off into this area. Yeah. I just saw the bull in the road, about 150 meters ahead of us. He's walking to the left. The wind is blowing this way, so we can't, we know where he, where he was. We're gonna try and cut him off. So that's what we're doing.
uh, we hit the fence line. It's about 40, 40 meters away, so we're gonna keep still. Um, they're standing quietly in the road, just gonna wait for them to move along into the wind and the wheel. Hopefully we'll get a shot. If we don't see anything in the next 30 to 40 minutes, we'll go around again and get where they were standing if they get it off in a different direction, but we anticipate that this is our best job. Well done, Stephen. I must just congratulate you on an awesome second shot. Um, we followed, we tracked this this kudubu uh, for over an hour. Um, so it, it actually came around, uh, and unfortunately, it obviously, you know, as it, it, it came to the fence, uh, we, by luck, actually, we got it in the corner. We saw it from that road, and then we decided we're going to ambush it, come all the way left yeah. round, because we saw it was it's starting to move along the fence, ambush it. Um, and it worked. Uh, you got a second shot, and it's, uh, it's, it's the even... first time I've seen a, a, a second shot of any sort of bow, whether it be crossbow or compound bow. Uh, yeah. I must congratulate you. We whistled at it, um, it stopped, and it gave you a great opportunity, and you took it. Well done, man. Yeah, well, when the luck uh, when the luck comes your way, you don't uh, you don't turn it away. So um, we were lucky again today. But uh, yeah, we're gonna give it what another twenty. Yeah, let's give it some the more time. The shot was good. I mean, the shot was good. No. Um, uh, that second shot is definitely a, a, a double longer, so I think this is give it a couple of minutes, um, um, and and I think it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jody. Hundreds. Some more blood over here, Stefan. Stefan is down right over there. Well done, man. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Great second shot. Um, that's less than 100 meters from yeah. your, your second shot. Well, 30 minutes later, but I mean, that's the norm, <laughs> eh? You, you know, to... that's why they call it hunting. If it wasn't hunting, it would be easy for all of us. You could see, um, I'm sweating, you sweating. Um, you know, our patience paid off, and uh, there's your bull right over there. Almost take the body off That was a result of a of, of very good expansion yep. on those broadheads, uh, but I would really like to see that first shot. I mean, he, um, we had a tremendous blood trail. Yeah. I mean, for, for, sure. for hitting the hind leg, we could clearly see through the binos when we when we found him again uh, against the fence line that uh, it was the right hind leg, yes. like, like uh, we suspected. So yeah. let's go have a look at that shot because I mean, it, it, it must have been must have hit something significant. Yeah. Let's have a look over here. It looks like it's entered here on that side and exited here. So obviously you, you heard some sort of uh, um, small artery because, like I said, it was bleeding a lot. Um, it doesn't look like much, but I mean, it led us, it led us to the Kudubu yeah, at well, the end of the day. So. For, for, for about an hour and 45 minutes, yeah. we followed a very decent blood trail. I mean, even where, it was, where it's lying here, dead still, I mean, yeah. you can see. No, 100%. Yeah. Well, you need... You need a bit of luck sometimes. Yeah. Hunting, and uh, we'll definitely take some luck this time. Well, so, uh, that's that's why they call it hunting at the end of the day. <laughs> let's put it up for some pictures. I mean, it's a beautiful kudu bull. Beautiful. Um, and like I said, that second shot absolutely amazing. And beautiful expansion on that broadhead as well. <laughs> I just want to thank you uh, for coming to, to Ntaba Yamanzi. I know we planned this uh, trip a while back um, and we spoke about getting a kudu. Obviously not the, the easiest thing with a crossbow or any bow, and, a matter of fact. Um, and, you know, you got that second shot in. Uh, you know, what do you have to say about the setup and everything here? Yeah, did you enjoy it? Yeah, yes. I mean, uh, we, we, uh, we left Pretoria at, at, at 5 o'clock this morning. Yeah. 
and uh, we were we were busy sighting in the boat just before seven. Yeah. So I mean, it's a you, you have a, an amazing an amazing spot here. I mean, uh, the abundance of wildlife you have here, and uh, the facilities. I mean, we had a nice brunch, and uh, it's just you know to see all these wonderful animals, to see the golden willoughby. Yes, we saw some sable, um, uh, but the moment we saw those kudu this morning. We decided, well, that's it. Uh, yeah. we, we could have taken some waterbuck, placebuck, uh, um, yeah, some beautiful nyala. We saw some, yeah. we saw some very good nyala. Um, but the moment we saw the kudu, uh, we decided, well, that's it. And uh, we saw this bull this morning um, uh, together with some other bulls. And yeah. like you said, not 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 the easiest animal to to try and walk and stalk, yeah. <laughs> especially with a <laughs> with a bow or even a crossbow. We had a couple of shots this morning. Which we could have taken between 70 and 90 meters, but but the branches, you know, it was just too thick. Okay, so yeah. this afternoon we got lucky in that open patch. Um, we spotted them from far away. We circled around and we, yeah. and we waited for them. And uh, yeah, he was alone. He moved. He moved, you know, across our area as as we got into position. I don't know if it was the binos or what it was, but something spooked him and he took off. And I was just so disappointed. I mean, he was 40 odd meters yeah. away, and uh, he gave me a shot at 92. It was a frontal shot, it was a difficult shot. Um, I screwed it up, I mean, there's nothing to it. Uh, I shouldn't have taken the shot yeah, yeah. Uh, in hindsight, but I did take it. Um, we got lucky. Uh, you showed us just now where we hit the leg. We hit it good, we hit an artery, and an uh, hour and a half later, we found him. I mean, he was he was, no, he was, he was wobbling already, and uh, sure. we, we put in the insurance shot on the shoulder, yeah. less than 100 meters. He was stoned in. I mean, he, we, we could have followed up immediately. But listen, thanks a lot for you guys. Only a pleasure having me here. And, it was uh, great having you guys here. It's I'm really looking forward to, to, to coming back again and, uh, and try and make a one shot kill you. 100%. <laughs> no, thank you to you guys as well. And thanks for watching Africa Sportsman Show. Cheers. Hope you join us again on our next adventure.